vote in favour of Article 50, but some in the party say they will oppose it. And in fact, we have breaking news. Let's go to our chief political correspondent, Vicky Young, because the first casualty of that policy has just been revealed. Yeah, that's right. Tulip Sadiq, who is an MP in North London, she today has written to Jeremy Corbyn saying that she came into politics to make a difference and to represent her constituency, a constituency which voted very much to remain in the European Union. And she now says she's writing a letter of resignation with a very heavy heart. She says, on the announcement of the three-line whip on the Article 50 vote, I feel I have no choice but to resign from my front bench role as shadow minister for early years. She says she does not support the triggering of Article 50 and cannot reconcile herself to the front bench position. So Jeremy Corbyn uh, saying he wants to show leadership. He thinks it's right that the Labour Party respects the result of the referendum, uh, that no vote in the referendum. And so he is ordering his MPs uh, to vote uh, in favour of Article 50. Now, there have been a lot of speculation about other members of the Shadow Cabinet, including uh, Clive Lewis. Uh, he was thought and said last week he didn't think Article 50 was the right thing for him or his also very pro-Remain constituency uh, of Norwich. Well, I spoke to him a little bit earlier and this is what he had to say. I think most of the people that voted me know that I have got my views on the European Union and on the relationship that we should now have with uh, the single market uh, and other areas of Europe. That's what I'll be doing in the coming weeks, as will other MPs. And I think that's what the Supreme Court decision was about, giving Parliament a say on that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it with the interests of Norwich and the interests of the country. And when it comes to the final vote on whether we trigger Article 50 and what it looks like, I'll make my decision based on what's in front of me. So what he is saying is that next week, next Wednesday, when the first vote on all of this comes, the one that Jeremy Corbyn has said Labour MPs must back Article 50, Clive Lewis says he is willing to do that because Parliament should have a say, Parliament should debate these issues. Uh, the bill then goes through a ver various process, but he is still reserving the right at the end of that process at uh, what's called third reading to look at whether any changes have been made, to look at whether uh, he thinks actually Article 50 is something he can back uh, and he hasn't decided yet how he's going to vote on all of that. So for Jeremy Corbyn, this is going to be pretty tricky. He knows his party is divided over all of this. It really goes to the heart of what an MP is here to do. Many of them feel they are here to represent their constituents. Others say, well, you're a national party. You want to be in government. You are the official opposition. You have to respect the will of the people in the referendum. So this has proved to be an incredibly tricky dilemma for the Labour Party. But unfortunately for them, uh, they have been the first casualties, really, uh, of this big debate on Europe, not the Conservatives. Vicky, thank you very much. Vicky Young there at Westminster. Uh, we're just keeping an eye on events in Philadelphia. We're awaiting the arrival of President Trump. Uh, that is the podium where he will be addressing congressional Republicans and we'll take you to that as soon as it gets underway.